Hi, Luke Raymond again from Inaxis Security Systems. So I'm actually uh, coming to you from the warehouse today, uh, and we're going to have we're going to discuss something very specific. We're going to talk about wireless versus hardwired systems. So as a security manufacturer, you know we we sell all systems. We sell hardwired, we sell wireless, and when it comes to cameras, a lot of people ask themselves, what should we choose and why? So we're gonna actually discuss the topic, discuss different types of cabling, different types of wiring, different types of cameras, when to choose what and why. A lot of people talk to me about Wi-Fi cameras. Why is a Wi-Fi camera chosen versus a hardwired camera? And if you're doing hardwired, can you also do wireless, for example, wireless bridges? And that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. Because we have systems that actually meet all levels of the need. From a security perspective, we always prefer to do hardwired systems. Hardwired systems are by far a better choice. Now, the cameras themselves, when we're talking about hardwired cameras, usually it's a Cat5 cable that comes to the camera and you can either power it with an independent power supply or you can use power over ethernet. So power it for you, the same communications cable that comes directly to the hardwired camera. These cameras, uh, the, you, they use a Cat5 or a Cat6 cable, they go back to a switch. And that switch allows everything on the network from the NVR to the cameras to speak to each other. But we can also extend these larger networks, these hardwired networks wirelessly using wireless bridges over long distances. Now the advantage of doing uh, structured cabling and doing hardwired systems uh, or hardwired systems which have a wireless component is that you can put a ton of information over these hardwired cables or over these long range bridges. Uh, what I mean by a ton of information is by doing structured cabling, we can send multiple different cameras over the same Cat5 cable. So each camera would be hardwired with a Cat5 cable back to a switch, and then we could actually put a whole bunch of, of cameras on the same switch over what's called a backbone cable from that switch to potentially an NVR or another switch or to a wireless bridge to connect it long range to other areas. There is another way to do this. A lot of these switches will actually have f what's called SFP ports, small, small form factor pluggables, that will actually allow you to do a fiber optic cable directly to the same switch as well. So in larger cases where we have like big, big applications with hundreds of cameras, what we'll do is we'll bring Cat5 or Cat6 from every camera back to a switch, and then we'll connect those switches together via fiber optic cables to have multiple switches, and then have a fiber optic cable or a Cat6 from one of those switches back to a server or a recorder. In the cases where we're doing wireless over bridges, it's the same principle. The only difference is the bridge acts as basically a wireless switch. Now, all of what we're discussing right now is all uh, professional security systems, hardwired security systems. And even if it's a wireless bridge, it's still considered kind of a hardwired solution. When we get into more of the um, you know, entry level residential solutions, that's where we start to go over Wi-Fi. Now, we do have Wi-Fi cameras. So this is an example of one of our Wi-Fi cameras, more designed for the residential or maybe small to medium business. As you can tell, it looks exactly like all of our commercial products. It still has a Cat5 connection. It still has a power cable. You can still power it over PoE or the power. The only difference is it communicates via the Wi-Fi network. Now there are major limitations on Wi-Fi and we don't suggest it for any professional security applications. The reason is the limitation you have is based upon the Wi-Fi network itself. Unlike a wireless bridge, which can go many kilometers over wireless and have a very, very large amount of bandwidth to be able to send tons of cameras over that wireless bridge, Wi-Fi is very, very limited. So depending on the Wi-Fi network you have, you have the limitation of the amount of bandwidth you have over it. The other problem with Wi-Fi is usually we're going to use a Wi-Fi network, especially in a residential uh, environment, to, you know, to surf the internet, to play on YouTube, such as our YouTube channel, uh, to you know, uh, play video games, to use your iPhone and your iPad. And all of this stuff takes up bandwidth on the Wi-Fi network. So when it comes to professional security solutions, we never, ever, ever suggest going with a Wi-Fi uh, camera unless you have a dedicated Wi-Fi network for that and a very, very limited range. Now, in residential applications, a lot of the time we do, will do Wi-Fi as long as we respect the fact that that Wi-Fi network will potentially also be used by the residents for things like YouTube surfing at the same time as the cameras. And if that's the case, you know, you got to be very, very careful and make sure the cameras always have a connectivity and are probably put, uh, you know, as a higher priority than other things. 
So when we get into the security world, as we start to look at you know the different applications, especially over hardwired, uh, Wi-Fi cameras are very simple, right? Simple little camera, boom, that's it, usually for residential purposes. But one of the reasons we do hardwired is not just because we have the ability to do these type of security cameras, but even higher end security cameras. And this is a perfect example. This is a hardwired so uh, solution which actually has four independent cameras in a single box. And there's a single Cat5 cable that comes from this directly to your switch. So you can actually do a multi-head camera like this, very high-end, massive amount of resolution over the same Cat5 cable. This is what we're talking about when we talk about a professional security camera that's hardwired versus something a little simpler for residential purposes such as a Wi-Fi camera. So when you're choosing your camera and you're choosing your application, you have to understand that you base the camera choice on your application. If you're doing something very simple, just regular identification in your home maybe or in your small business, you know, one to four cameras, Wi-Fi could be a solution for you. But the moment you need a little bit more power, a little, something a little bit longer distance, maybe a larger camera count, we always suggest sticking with a pro more professional system and a hardwired system. Whether you're doing it over Cat5, Cat6, long range with fiber or even wireless bridges, it's a bit of a better solution. As mentioned, in Access Security Systems, we are a North America-wide and even worldwide distributor for many different products, including all of our, obviously, security cameras themselves. Uh, we have warehouses in the US, we've got warehouses in Canada, we have a ton of inventory that can meet all of your needs, from the entry-level residential system, such as a Wi-Fi camera system, all the way up to the largest multi-head or pan tilt zoom application for the biggest enterprise. Please subscribe to our YouTube page. If you have any questions, comment section down below. Just send us your questions. We're more than happy to get back to you as soon as possible. Cheers.